the stories like that that give so much texture yes. to how we evolved. I love that, Jamie. Thank yes. you so much. And Chris is here now discussing really a one-two punch in terms of snow and cold and everything coming our way. Uh, we, a whole potpourri for your weekend. <laughs> so let's just dive in here and get you started. Here's a look outside. Uh, you can see we are enjoying very clear skies across not only Denver, really most of the state is clear at this hour. A lot of sunshine. That's going to do a little melting from that snow we saw yesterday. Now it is a little cool in the high country. Look at the blue on the map. 30s across the mountain, still in the only the upper 40s on the western slope. But our eastern plain we're warming through the 50s and some places now touching 60 like Ray 61 degrees. Notice a little cooler down here. There's a little more snowpack down there near the New Mexico state line 60 from Rick Shin. He's our weather watcher in Commerce City. Uh, here's the weather. This is part of what brought the snow yesterday. It's affecting the southern uh, Gulf Coast area. So some rain and thunderstorms, some of that moisture all the way up here into New England. The western side of the country is quiet in Colorado is part of the quiet weather pattern for now. I have the satellite layer turned on and you see very little cloud cover out there at this hour. High pressure in California. This is why they are hot and having the wildfires. We're feeling the edge of it today. That's why there's a warming trend. It uh, stays with us through tomorrow. But did you notice that high pressure just left the left side of your screen or started to leave? Uh, that's called retrograding. And as that does so, it's going to open the door for a very cold pocket of air to pour straight out of the North Pole, right down the Rocky Mountain region. It'll be here overnight Saturday into Sunday. Here's future cast. Watch the clock. It is working. There's just very little to show you for today or tonight and really even tomorrow. I stopped it at 3 p.m. If you watch the top of your screen, you'll see the edge of that Arctic air mass. I was just talking about racing in here overnight and we do think by sunrise on Sunday morning we'll have snow and some wind along the front range. The coming storm is going to bring a big temperature drop. That means we could see a flash freeze. Several inches of snow could fall Sunday into early Monday. Monday and an extended period with temperatures below freezing. Pretty unusual for late October. Uh, winter storm watches to our north. Nothing yet for Denver, but watch Lauren Whitney tonight at five. I have a feeling we'll have some watches in our state. 40s today in the high country, 50s out west and east. A few places may hit the low 60s, including DIA. Britt, hold on to the desk here. I don't want you to be too blown away by this. <laughs> Look at the drop Saturday night into Sunday. And once we hit those 20s, we stay 20s or cold. Older. Let me turn the page real quick uh -oh. all the way through Wednesday night of next week. Good news for you. We think Halloween is going to bring a little bit of a warm up. Oh my goodness, Chris. That is a doozy. Thank it you is. so sure. much. All right. Coldness coming our way. So any parent.